All right, here we are on the freeway. As you can see, the freeway is really nasty. Maybe it wasn't a good idea for me to take the freeway because I have no four-wheel drive. But um, there's like one lane and that's all you got. The rest of it's, you can't even see. I don't even know where the white line is. I can't even see the center line. I'm actually uh, only able to do about, oh, what do we got, 45 miles an hour? That's about the best I could do and my truck is still kind of swaying back and forth. And I got her in fourth gear. That's about the, all I can do. If I put her up in the fifth, it, I just won't have enough power to even move. So about a half a mile back there, there was a little red Chevy Cavalier that tried to get off the exit. Couldn't even get off the exit. He got His car was literally buried at the bottom of the exit, right where you get off on the freeway, right where he would have turned to take the exit up the hill. He was sitting at the bottom of the, of the exit buried in snow. If I would have had four-wheel drive, I would have stopped and helped him, but that's kind of my ambition to get this four-wheel drive fixed so then you know situations like that because I do like to stop and help people because I know what it you know I know what it's like to be stuck on the freeway like that it, I, I wouldn't want to be myself in that situation so alrighty thought I'd make another quick one here but this is what the freeway looks like pretty nasty so I'm gonna put the camera down here so I can concentrate more on my driving than you know trying to watch the camera alrighty bye bye